ladies and gentlemen, fellow YouTubers, this is that dude, the unexpected wonder. Now look, I don't even have to do an intro in this video by any means. If, one thing I will say for those who don't know, I am a One Piece addict, amongst other things, and this channel does do a variety of things, a wide variety of topics. With all that being said, let's go in. Y'all read the title. Y'all, some of y'all might be wondering what's up. Some of y'all might get it. Here we go. One Piece. Do Flamingo War. Alright. Look chill, look chill. Let me start off with the current arc we are in in the manga. This disclaimer, for those who read or uh, watch on the anime, those who aren't quite there yet this far in the anime, uh, in the manga, and all such things. If you are not, uh, if you are only midway through Punk Hazard, or not done with Punk Hazard, you know anything before, do not watch this video. Because this is the discussion of, you know, a little bit of the current arc and possible future. One, two, to get off. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, everybody else. Dress Rosa arc. Now, a lot of people have, are, for some reason, having problems with this arc. For several different... Uh, I'll name the three main ones. They're saying, it's too slow. Too much is going on. Too many people are being introduced. And especially in the tournament. Well, let me address y'all. First of all, like I said uh, against the One Piece YouTubers before in my Stop It video. Have... Faith in Ichiro Oda. Have faith that the man knows what he's doing. He's wrote a masterpiece this far. I don't know why people are tripping. Okay, I guess because of people having problems with Fishman Island Punk as I ain't even gonna get with that in this one. Now, in my view, well, I'm I'm starting to see personally. I I I happen to like Dressrosa a lot, a lot. It's, I'm thinking it's going to end up, at the end of the day, going to be uh, one of the best arcs of One Piece. At least to this point. And I have good reasons for saying that. See, because I have imagination. Dudes like Fenev like I love Fenever. But Fenever World said um, a couple things back in, uh, a couple videos back in Punk Hazard. How uh, he needed the anime to see what Oda was doing. I don't need that. I ain't knocking. I ain't knocking for never. Shout out to for never. Does great job for never world, y'all. But I uh, look when Dressrosa arc. When the Dressrosa arc becomes animated, it you know the anime picks it up. A lot of people going to be speaking a completely different tune. Completely different. Now, what's the purpose? Okay, what is the purpose I see of the Dressrosa arc? The purpose very simple two things it is uh one giant setup arc that's what it is especially the tournament second you know um it's one giant setup arc we going we are seeing um two things with that setup with being that what do i keep saying in videos this is the new world you the, the whole game is stepped up even so-called fodder, which I don't think they're fodder, but so-called fodder characters, kind of beast mode. Okay, this is the new world. We're seeing the strength. We're seeing that ain't no pushover. Luffy's gonna have a struggle with this tournament, more than what people thought. I, I didn't make such uh, baseless claims, but some folks did. Now, also with this arc. Um, with this tournament especially, we're seeing a lot of setup with the characters. Future, okay? Oda is an excellent foreshadowing. He does excellent job in the foreshadowing uh, department. D did, did people forget about that part? Oh, they must they, they must have been sleeping on Oda as usual. Are you serious, folks? It's a whole bunch of setup and foreshadowing. Yo, I personally like the introduction of a lot of characters. Maybe it's a bit too much at too much this. But remember, this is a manga. Mangas only have so many pages, ladies and gents. Come on, now. Nah. And also, the second part of this whole thing with the Dressrosa arc. Freaking, 
it's it's going to be an opportunity where we're going to start seeing uh, uh, the Straw Hats really s showcase um, so far. And okay, and it, and, uh, and it's a segue to to my main point. Now, I was uh, watching the King of Lightning's uh, review of Film Z, and as well as talking to a couple other people and real One Piece fans, addicts like myself, and and different ones. Um, we want to see all every Straw Hat get some get some love, get some action time. And so far, the new world hasn't happened. But people need to remember the Monster Trio: Monkey D. Luffy, Roro no Azora, and Black Lad Sanji. All of them haven't even really done much. I mean, yes, yeah, Sanji sort of went Virgo, but they didn't. Nobody has gone all out. Okay, nobody has had the necessity of going all out. So we know they have a lot to hide. Okay. So with all that being said, the dress rosa art. Is the time for the straw hats to really get going and here's the thing here's the whole main thing and like I said it's a segue and it's just a continuous segue it's a segue into the war a long war with Don Quixote do Flamingo and his pirate crew and all that now so it's gonna be the straw hats versus the, the the Don Quixote pirates versus the straw hat pirates now why would I say such a thing think about it on three terms three terms First of all, first of all, Doflamingo himself. Now, Doflamingo of, you know, not the, uh, of the Shichibu cop, both former and current, that have been shown. Because there's this one new Shichibu cop that we have no idea about. We don't even know his name. He, uh, well, we might know him, but we don't know his name yet. Don Quixote Doflamingo has always been the most mysterious Unjo we still don't even really know his power. We're guessing his stream power or some kind like that. Okay, we don't even know what devil fruit he has. Wow, wow. You know, Mihawk's the second most mysterious, but at the same time, we met Mihawk early in the game. Okay, in the East Blue Sea, Don Quixote Doflamingo's always been mysterious. He's always been scheming, and a lot of people say, oh, um, uh, Doflamingo, he's a terrible villain, he's this and that. First of all, Doflamingo was an antagonist, especially in the situation, um, with the whole Kaido situation. Okay, Kaido is the villain, Doflamingo is the antagonist. And for those who don't understand the difference, do your research. I ain't got time to explain that in this one. Doflamingo, he's got schemes for days. He's on black beard level, yo. And for those who don't know how I view, I did all, I talked about in uh, One Piece Real Pirates video, I talked about the differences in different pirates. Blackbeard, I mean, not Blackbeard, Doflamingo, remember this. He's practically the lord of the underworld of the new world. And that's saying a lot, y'all. That is saying a lot. He's known as Joker, okay? Dudes fear him. Dudes fear him. So Doflamingo, we haven't even seen him really in this Just Rosa arc, which is understandable. The arc is just beginning, but still, we haven't really even seen the, the Don, the Quixote, Don Quixote family. That's all very interesting to a dude like me who understands plot progression and development. This is all just set up, all just set up. Now I might be wrong, but I. That's where I'm seeing them going. Second point as to why there's going to be along with the, the Doflamingo Pirates. The Straw Hats um, level. Now, I've said, and I defend my point, and I will keep defending this point until proven otherwise, that Luffy is on par with, uh, he is Admiral level. He's on par with Admiral level. Not Vice Admiral, Admiral. That's right, the Kizaru, Aokiji, even though he's former, um, Fujitora. Um, Fleet, Ag Fleet Admiral uh, Akainu. Now, before you jump all out of your seats and, and throw junk at me and try to attack me, listen to me. Listen really fast. Luffy, when I say on par, I mean he can keep up with them. Now, you it might not be canon, but it, it shows the truth. Look at the fight. Especially the last fight he had in Film Z with uh, Zephyr. Z. Okay. 
former admiral. I know he was old and everything, but the dude, he was easily able to confront Kizaru. Okay, for those who don't know, I ain't, I ain't getting into that one, but you 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 will see that. So that's telling that if if that is any indication, it backs up my premise. Okay, Luffy can keep up with him, but can he beat an admiral? Hell no. Hell no. No no no. He's nowhere even near. Beating an admiral level, not even close, not even close. And I keep, I've been saying this for a while now, probably for a month or two. If Luffy can't beat an admiral, how in the world is he supposed to beat Bianco? But let's let's be real, or at least best an admiral, at least at least um uh, make an admiral worry. Worry, how is he supposed to beat a Yanko? I generally think, as a whole. You know, each Yonko was probably stronger than ours. They might not, you know, it might not be a clear-cut victory, but I, I generally think, though, Yonko, for some reason, you know, for the, for the Admirals not to go after him, let's get real. It's more than just a whole fleet. Let's be real. Let's be real, ladies and gents. So, Luffy has got to improve. And we see something here. Doflamingo is the perfect one for it. Because Doflamingo, we see with Aokiji. He's up there. He's one of we know this. He's top tier. He's one of the most powerful pirates in in the One Piece world, hands down. Even New World, hands down. But he's not quite on. Uh, he he's like I say. He's like Luffy. He he's on par. He can handle um, admirals, but there ain't no way he's gonna win. I mean, Aokiji exposed that easily. You saw how easily he handled Smoker. And Smoker ain't nothing to play with, y'all. So, even though I've said things about Trafalgar Law. And Trafalgar Law, I don't even know if he's on uh, Doflamingo's level either. So, there's that. And also, you got to take into consideration this. How has set up... This is the third point. you got to take into consideration how Oda has set this all up. How he set this all up. What did he... Uh, you know, what did Law... I was reminded of. What is reminded of this? What did Law say to Luffy? When um they were on their way to dress Rosa, he said that in order to take down the Yonko, you have to take down a bunch of their subordinates, and these dudes, pretty strong pirates. So Doflamingo, the main, as far as we know, the main support, the main subordinate of Kaido, Yonko Kaido. Just think about that. He does business throughout the New World. If you want to get folks' attention, you take down Doflamingo. And why do I say a long work? Because I don't see, look, like I said, Doflamingo scheming and everything. I don't see, even with the help of the Heart Pirates, Trafalgar Law, and we don't know what's become the the Heart Pirates. They may, we just don't know at this point. So I'm just going to put Trafalgar Law. Even with the help of Trafalgar Law, you know, if Keenamon stays, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, Doflamingo ain't nothing to toy with. He ain't nothing to play with. We've seen that. We see, apparently, he has all three forms of hockey as well. It's gonna, it's not gonna, and you look, and, and I've been projecting that, uh, episode-wise, One Piece is probably gonna have between 1,200 and 1,500 episodes. And manga chapters, probably between 1,500 and 2,000. It's gonna be a decade more, okay, or so. So, we, you know, we've got a lot, and, I mean, you look at the New World, we find in the One Piece world every single chapter, expansion upon expansion, it ain't gonna end anytime soon. And this, and this, war, this war will help the Straw Hats in so many ways, dudes. I, you know, and and this is my this is my last point I will make. Besides the Monster Trio, I say you know we we don't know of anybody else who can use hockey. Maybe Robin can barely. But I, we don't know. We don't know. I would assume because she was with the uh, revolutionaries and, Dra and Monkey D. Dragon. So I would assume she has some basic knowledge of it. But listen. If Luffy is to be Pirate King. All the Straw Hats need to at least be using hockey. At least. At the very least. At the very least. It, it, without, without question. Alright. Tell me y'all thoughts. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me y'all thoughts. And y'all think I'm on point? Do you think I'm off point? Alright. Talk to y'all later. Peace.